Once again, we're going to do a suit up. We're going to do my wrecker. Obviously, this isn't uh, a 501st approved. It is Imperial Outlander approved, but it is all made out of EVA foam. And it, uh, most of the strapping is the same way as most traditional clones and, and TKs, so uh, we'll get right into it. Oh, uh, well, before we do, if you watch one of the other suit ups, if you notice that he's gotten a little bit thicker. I'm a little buff now. We had to inject him with steroids. You can't do wrecker without being buff. And it's the bigger arms, bigger belly. We're good to go. All right. <laughs> and the reason for the uh, the suit is mainly since the forearms and the, the biceps are so big, we needed a little something in, in the transition. Oh, we can compare them. Well, we'll do that at the end because you guys are all packed away. And with this suit, it's the same as the Mimbin. He has the elastic straps with little loops on them to go to his belt which we lost the belt. <clears throat> and again joining with us is uh, Leslie who's a TK TK Nova Trooper and Thai Pilot yep Is it Nova Troopers TX right TX that's right Special Forces well I'm a TD but you know this is the bearded TK so <clears throat> Still have TK ID. I have. Yeah. Kind of a, an awkward stance. I, I feel kind of funny. Okay. Yeah. The belt looks good though underneath here. He's got a nice butt. I don't know if you <laughs> noticed in the last film. Or yeah, this start wearing yoga pants. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're, don't ruin the yoga pants. <laughs> wear my, my macho Mandalorian pants, pants every day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so these look look at the size of these. We should have left out the amendments so we could compare. I'm gonna have a regular clone now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's got a clone trooper here with him. <coughs> That's what we can do the comparison, especially the forearms and the biceps. I mean this this is pretty much almost the size of my head. So and this is for the bicep. But, I have the, the biceps on the shelf. Here's a uh, clone trooper thigh. It uh, sticks out on both sides of it. It's damn near double the size for a record. Oh, yeah. And then this is a shin. <laughs> it dwarfs turn to the side. This, I mean, this is <laughs> tiny compared to that. The this boots are from Crow Props. Well worth the money. They're, they're great quality, real leather. Make me a little bit taller. I think uh, with these shoes, it, it puts me at the six foot level. Yep. Normally he's only five five. If you're at a convention or anything and need some help, somebody's always willing to help put the tank strap together. Yeah, everybody knows your pain. Yeah. Everybody knows you, you need it. Hopefully it's your first kid of the day and you don't have tanks with <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Alright, so also on this one, you can see he's got the elastic going around, turn around. And then he crosses them to help hold it in place, but he's got one here as well to help hold his other piece of armor. Yeah, place. that holds the chest down to right here at this level. Right. right now I have the leather and I have the foam for the, I don't, I don't know, I've seen pictures in, in the cartoon that sometimes it shows it, it looks like it's, it's his undersuit and sometimes it makes it look like it's armor. So I'm making it soft foam and make it look yeah. Now for my biceps, I actually made this little collar, put snaps on it. And so my biceps will go snap onto there. Please. 
trying to say how big this is this literally can go inside it and still have room and he's got foam in there too so way different is this all resin fiberglass fiberglass, fiberglass so eventually I'm gonna be talking about resin I'm gonna be putting resin on this coating the whole thing make it this final first steady <laughs> yes and it will be Bible first provable is this not is this comfortable at all around your neck and like mm -hmm. this yeah, because once it's on, now it's loose. That's indeed. You know, Gigi does that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's used to the choker. We get it, all right. Normally there's a red ball. All right, and then the next part will be the chest. Now this, I have on the sides, it, there's Velcro on both, and then the strap goes, hooks up. And then there's the clip right here that hooks onto this. Now, did you use a pattern uh, offline for the backpack, or did you make that off for your own design? The, it was a Pepecura file that I, I used, and obviously with paper being paper thin and the foam being what, half an inch thick, I had to do a lot of modification to it. So there was a lot of trial and error. This is probably the fourth or fifth. <coughs> version of this outfit. Yeah, like you say, you did readjust uh, the yeah, upper part because it was neck. way wide and didn't look right. Forearms. Forearms, Forearms are, are, are huge. They're shorter than your normal stormtrooper, but as far as, well, okay, sure like except for a clone trooper. Giant. Damn, dude, this looks like for a child. Well, I mean, it... <laughs> I'm just no, saying. On. I don't think I can fit my arm in there, and I'm not that. Well, maybe I can't hear. Let me get that back on. I'm afraid. I don't want to get stuck. I got yeah, your hands, hands are a little bigger. Yeah. See, I got sausage finger. Well, he's also like medical field, so <laughs> he's got to keep his hands in good shape. He can't have big old sausage fingers trying to <laughs> butt tear. Him. So, all right. So this go. Does this? This is just like this. And that's why it has the leather? Yep. Or is it supposed to go under it? It, it doesn't really. I mean, Unless you scrunch down? Yeah. Okay, so. Give you the record pose? That's right. And, I mean, normally, you do the, like this, but it would, see now, I've got it broken in so I can do it. But before it would squish the, the biceps, when I, I had the biceps hooked to the shoulders. So I do a lot of the poses and it would just crush the, the biceps. So now I, I mainly, when we do poses, we have other people there, so I'm not the only one in the, the shot. And so I have to do just kind of a half pose. And I nah. do the, okay. so I can't do the full pose like we do it sometimes. <coughs> do it, get in front of Greg, good. <laughs> yeah, we got a photo bomb, Greg. And then since it's EVA foam, this is all light. Does the knife come out? Yeah, it does. <laughs> the bad thing about this, with this collar here, the helmet's actually pretty small. I can fit a fan in, and it is right up. I have to wear a balaclava, because otherwise my beard gets caught up in it, and my beard will hang out below it. But the, with the, the collar, I definitely can't see kids. When they get into my blind spot, this sticks out further so the I, I can't see out of the visor yeah it's it's really about six feet in front of me so kids come up my blind spot and I feel them I feel them hugging and tugging and, and tapping and I have no idea that's we definitely need the handler to say fist bump all you do is stick your finger your fist out yeah oh that's Halloween when I had my helmet on I had all my fans going and I walk up and I see his mouth moving and I'm like no I had I'm not answering yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so then I heard something about way, and that's when I nodded. I'm like, all right. So this is a wrecker. Yeah, that actually went on a lot easier than the Mimbin. Yeah, and it, it's really comfortable. It, I had a lot more movement than 
than you do with the most of the TKs. The the Minmin, you have a lot more movement with the Minmin than you do the original trilogy ones. Just it fits so much better. It, it's a little bit looser. The pieces are a lot bigger. Um, they just fit better. And this, I modified it significantly for me, so I would have the most comfort. Uh, we did one convention, uh, was six hours I was in it, and I was fine. Does it heat up a lot? It is. It's very hot. With the undersuit, especially the, the muscle suit, makes it really hot. <coughs> I was going to say, compared to the mm -hmm. Minbin, is that Lyle. cooler? Lyle. Yeah, it's, the Minbin is a lot cooler. The EVA foam keeps in a lot of heat. It really gets hot. And although there's a lot of openings, so if you're outside and you get a nice breeze, this is a lot more beneficial because the breeze hits a lot more places. Maybe we could come up with a way to put like a battery pack in your backpack and have the <coughs> fans. Yeah, because there is a hole in the back where the... I actually I had created a cooling vest. Yeah. Um, cool. You put a hydration pack on because they're flat. Yeah. Fill it with ice water and can cycle it through. Yeah. But I most of an AC vest or yeah. suit you can wear for mm -hmm. a, in the hot temperature stuff, but that's like twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Most of the suits I use, I, I I like capes and commas, so this is the first one I have that that doesn't have it. And, so it really, it allows more air to flow through, and but you have to be more precise with the, the measurements and, and make it look good. Yeah, with a cape of comma, you can cover up right, you something that might be wrong. Stakes, so. short, That's going to be my first shortcuts. Comma. Yeah. I like it because you can do shortcuts and, and they're... And pole draws, you can hold up other high yes. stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, I think the next one we're going to be doing uh, is Macho Mandalorian. Yeah, you want to see what up on that? All right. All right.